Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about how to handle seasonality in EVUs. In time series data, seasonality is the presence of variations that occur at a specific regular interval less than a year, such as weekly, monthly, or quarterly. Seasonality may be caused by various factors such as weather, vacation, holidays, and it consists of periodic, repetitive, and generally regular and predictable patterns in the levels of time series. Seasonal fluctuation in a time series can be contrasted with the cyclic patterns. The later occurs when the data exhibits rise and falls that are not of a fixed period. These fluctuations are usually due to economic conditions and are often related to the business cycles. The period of time usually extends beyond a single year and the fluctuations are usually of at least two years. It is necessary that we carry out a seasonal adjustment on this series. Now, what is the seasonal adjustment? It's a process of estimating and removing the seasonal effects from a time series. And by seasonal, we mean an effect that happens at the same time and with the same magnitude and direction every year. The basic goal of seasonal adjustment is to decompose a time series into several different components, including a seasonal component and an irregular component. Because the seasonal effects are unwanted feature of the time series, the seasonal adjustment can be thought of a focus noise reduction. Economists, policymakers and consumers use time series to, make, to take some decisions, to try to identify important features of economic series such as direction, turning points and consistency between other economic indicators. Sometimes seasonal movements can make these features difficult to see. So we publish economic series with the seasonal movements removed for those who prefer to view data without seasonal movements. The different methods of seasonal adjustments are X12 ARIMA developed by the United States Census Bureau, TRAMOSIDS developed by the Bank of Spain, STEMPED developed by group led by SJ Koopman, Seasonals and Trend Decomposition using LOSS developed by Cleveland. How much data is required? X12 ARIMA and X13 will work with four years of data to get good REG ARIMA. REG ARIMA is regression ARIMA models. It is better to have at least seven years of data. Studies have shown that Tramosids works best with at least six years of data. Components of seasonal adjustment. It can be a trend or a trend cycle. An estimate of the local level of the series derived from the surrounding recent a year or two observations. The trend is generally, generally fairly smooth and includes movements and cycles longer than a year. The second component of the seasonal adjustment can be the seasonal effects, effects that are reasonably stable in terms of annual timing, direction, and magnitude. The possible causes of seasonal effects can be the natural factors like weather, administrative measures, starting and ending dates of the school, and social, culture, religious traditions, fixed holidays such as Christmas. The irregular component can be anything not included in the trend cycle or the seasonal effects or in estimating trading day or holiday effects. Its values are unpredictable in regards to timing, impact, and duration. It can arise from sampling error, non-sampling error, unseasonably weather, natural disasters, disasters, strikes. An example of the irregular component from retail sales from shoe stores, from retail sales to shoe stores. Trading day effects. Recurring effects associated with individuals' day of the effect. This occurs because only non-leap year Februarys have four of each type of day, four Mondays, four Tuesdays. For example, building permit offices are usually closed on Saturday and Sunday. Thus, the number of building permits issued in a given month is likely to be higher if the month contains a surplus of weekdays and lower if the month contains a surplus of weekend days. There can be also the moving holiday effects. Effects from holidays that are not always on the same day of month, such as Labor Day or Thanksgiving Day. The most important moving, heli moving holiday in the US is Easter. Not only because it moves between days, but also can move between months since it can occur in March or April. There can be combined effects. Since trading day and moving holiday effects are persistent, predictable calendar related effects, we also want to remove these calendar effects from the seasonally adjusted series. 
The combined factors are the seasonal factors combined with the trading day and the holiday factors. What effects are removed in the seasonal adjustment? During seasonal adjustment, we remove seasonal effects from the original series. If present, we also remove trading day and moving holiday effects. The seasonally adjusted series is therefore a combination of the trend and irregular components. One common misconception is that the seasonal adjustment will also hide any outliers which are present. This is not the case. If there is some kind of unusual event, we need that the information for analysis and outliers are included in the seasonally adjusted series. There are two methods of adju seasonal adjustment process. One is an additive model and another is a multiplicative model. Additive model Y is equal to C plus S plus I. The multiplicative model is Y is equal to C into S into I, where Y is the original series, C is a trend cycle, S is a seasonal component, and I is an irregular component. Removing the seasonal component. The seasonal adjustment series is formed by estimating and removing the seasonal component. For the additive model, we will simply subtract from Y the seasonal component and whatever is left is C plus I, which is the trend cycle and the irregular component. In case of multiplicative model, we will divide simply the series by the seasonal component. So seasonally adjusted series is Y by S is equal to C into I. In multiplicative decomposition, the seasonal effects change proportionally with the trend. If the trend series, so do the seasonal effects, while if the trend moves downward, the seasonal effects diminish too. In an addictive decomposition, the seasonal effects remain broadly constant, no matter which direction the trend is moving in. In practice, the most economic time series exhibit a multiplicative relationship and hence the multiplicative decomposition usually provides the best fit. However, the multiplicative decomposition cannot be implemented if any zero or negative values appear in the time series. How to decide additive or multiplicative model? Any an, un, an additive model or decomposition is appropriate if the magnitude of the seasonal fluctuations does not vary with the level of the series and the series does not contain any zero or negative values. The multiplicative model decomposition is usually appropriate for a series of positive values where the size of the seasonal oscillations increases with the level of the series. Now how to do this in EVUs? Let's see. We are having the data of the passengers ranging from 1949 to 1960. When I will plot the graph of it, you can see the seasonality in the data view graph. It is clearly evident that the seasonality is present. The fluctuations are happening at the regular interval. Now, how to address this? For this, let us first of all run the Corel graph. So view, correlogram at level. You can see that there are regular spikes happening at 12, 12 and therefore it's a yearly pattern which is repeating. Now we want to carry out the seasonal adjustment here. So we will go in proc, seasonal adjustment and we will activate census X. 30. We will get this window. Now we will activate the transform. After that, we will have to activate the model from here. Activate the X11 auto. After that, go in method. Make sure X11 is on, X13 default is on. Then you will have to go in output. Activate the trend, seasonal factors, and irregular component. Click on it and you will get the results. So, eViews has instructed X13 to perform the seasonal adjustment and shows the basic output, output from X13. Now, what you will do? You will just select passengers, open as group, and this is a new series which has been generated by X13. Now, 
view graph click ok and you can see the seasonal fluctuations have been removed and the red line is passing through the mean of this entire series now we will perform the seats based seasonal adjustment with automatic outlier detection and trauma based automatic error for this we will have to go in sensors x13 we will activate the automatic outliers make sure that we tick all of them next we will have to go in model click on tremo auto all these options will appear click on method click on appen forecast then click on output make sure that you tick 1 2 3 and 4 and click okay it is throwing an error let me try again i again go in passengers rock seasonal adjustment sensex x30 now activate the automatic outliers one two three four click on model make sure tremo auto is on then click on method activate the seats append the forecast click on output two three four all these ticks should be on click ok you can see here the new variables have been generated now passengers d11 s11 open as group view graph click ok and you can see here you can be the graph of seats based seasonal adjusted value s11 along the side x11 based value d11 and the original series now i want to run the tremo seats here so for this again i will activate the passengers the original series proc seasonal adjustment tremo seats from here i'll get this window make sure all the sticks are on then click ok you will get again the new series which has been generated keep this aside now i will select passengers cycle hat this one sc sf and open as group Basically, these are all the new generated series from Tremo Seeds, open as group. Now, I will go in view, graph, line and symbol, click OK. So, you can see here, the detrended series, which is there. The original series is there, the cyclic fluctuations is there, irregular component is there, interpolated series is there. So for more videos on econometrics, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.